guys, welcome back to the Roll and Grill. Let me show you what we got today. Fresh out of Walmart, lamb breast. These are actually like, I call them lamb ribs, they call them lamb breasts. But if you look at them, they kind of look like baby backs. So guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna stick them in the oven. We're gonna do some oven roasted, Cajun seasoned, and then I got a little sauce I'm gonna put on there that came from the good people at Country Pleasing. So y'all stay tuned, right here on the Rolling Grill, baby. Lamb breast. Guys, yeah, what we're gonna use. I'm gonna use some Cajun seasoning with some salt. And uh, then I'm gonna finish it with this right here, man. This is some grilling and chilling sauce by the people at Country Pleasing. If you've seen my video about the Country Pleasing sauces, they sent me a bunch of swag and a bunch of uh, products. And this was one of the products. I just tasted it for the first time. It's got like a soy, um, a, like a soy glaze to it, like a soy taste to it. It's, I guess it's heavy in soy. Anyway, man, we're gonna do like a little East meets West. We got some down South Cajun meets a little bit of Asian. Down South Cajun meets a little bit of Asian on these lamb ribs, baby. So y'all stay tuned, man. It's about to go down. And just so y'all can see it, Walmart. They call them lamb breasts. I discovered these when I was in Miami early this year because I didn't even know my Walmart sold these. But if you look at them, they kind of look like, well, actually they kind of look like St. Louis cut spare ribs that you would use for competition. But uh, anyway, it goes, we're about to go down, man. All right, guys, I'm gonna cook these on a convection bake. I want some good heat all around these. If you know anything about lamb, sometimes it can be very fatty. These are kind of fatty. But anyway, I wanna kind of crisp up that fat. So I'm gonna start off with a hot oven. I'm gonna do 400. And I'll probably let it roll at 400 for probably about an hour and then taper it on down. So yeah, stay tuned. All right, here we go. I just took them out of the pack, just washed them up. If you can see at the bottom, uh, they got a nice little fat cap on there. And uh, these are the bone side, let me flip them over. I'm just letting them sit here and kind of come to room temp a little bit. I'm gonna let them sit here for probably about 25 to 30 minutes, let them dry out a little bit. And then I'm gonna season them up. But if you can, you can see they did a very good job. I gotta give it to Walmart or whoever did it. They did a good job of getting a lot of that fat off of there. Cause lamb ribs can be very fatty. So anyway, they sitting here grilled, they sitting here chilling. We're gonna season them up in a minute. season I'm just gonna let them sit here I'm gonna let the salt go in and pull out a little bit of moisture and kind of make this uh, seasoning rub on here nice and tacky and it may look like I put a lot of Cajun seasoning on there but the Cajun seasoning doesn't have a lot of salt in it if any at all which is why I salted it first and then put the Cajun seasoning on there so we're ready to go we're gonna just let them sit here all right Stay guys tuned. it's been about 20 minutes you can see you pulled out some moisture with that salt that's gonna help the Cajun seasoning stick to the meat. That's what I mean when I say salt it first, then season it, let it sit. It's gonna draw the moisture out. It's gonna help create like a little sticky uh, crust on top of the meat. But anyway, oven's at 400. I got them in a foil pan and I got a rack on top of them because I don't want them sitting and swimming inside all that fat that's gonna come off of them. We're gonna let them sit in here in the oven for one hour at 400 degrees and then we'll check them. More than likely, we're probably gonna flip them up or wrap them. Stay tuned. Yeah, boy. All right, y'all, about uh, 40 minutes in, I just want y'all to hit a sizzle. You hear that? Crispin up that skin, let me see y'all this Yes, sir, that's what you wanna see. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I cut the oven down to 350. Uh, it did one hour at 400 in the convection. I just want y'all to see what they look like. Look at that nice crust. But more importantly, look at all that fat at the bottom. That's why I put them on a rack. I didn't want them, I didn't want them swimming in that fat. 
But look at that crust. That crust is popping. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let them sit in the oven on 350. I'm probably gonna let them go for like 30 minutes and then we'll see what we're gonna do from there. But that crust is nice. Yes, sir. Guys, they are out the oven. I did initially, I did an hour at 400 degrees on convection bake. And then I broke it down to 350 for 30 minutes. And uh, here's where we at so far. Nice little bark, nice little crust. So, but this is what I want y'all to see. I'm gonna move them around, I'm gonna let y'all see all that fat. But anyway, I took them off. I got them over there resting for a minute. I just want y'all to see the amount of fat that comes off those little bitty lamb breasts. Look at all that fat, man. That's the very reason why you wanna put them on a rack. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this grilling and chilling on there. Stick it back in the oven for about 15 minutes and then we're gonna slice it up. Stay tuned. All right, folks, I drained all the fat. That's where all the fat is. So I don't have my brush. For some reason I can't find it. So what I'm gonna do is just use this little spatula I have. And I'm gonna try to work it around there. So y'all, y'all stay tuned. All right guys, there they are. I put some glaze on them. The grilling and chilling sauce right here from Country Pleasing. And now we're gonna stick them back in the oven and let it tack up for probably about 15 minutes. All right, guys, what I'm pointing out here is there's still a tremendous amount of fat left, so just be mindful of that. All right, y'all, I just wanted to show you, um, look at all that fat. I mean, when you cut, two bones split, just like you were cutting a baby back. But man, look at all that fat in between, man. Now I've had, and I've actually cooked lamb ribs on my channel before, but I will say this, they're very fatty. Um, but as you can see, man, I mean, it's some delicious, moist, tender meat, man. You just gotta cut that fat out. I'd say break it all down, man, make some good tacos with it. But um, look at that, that's nothing but fat, man. Yes, sir. And uh, let's give it a taste. All right, y'all, let's give it a taste. Man, it's fatty, man. <laughs> I already know it's gonna be fatty. Now you look at the grease falling off of it. It's good though. It's just very rich, very rich. I don't know if I like that grilling and chilling sauce with it. Um, it's got a little salt in it as well. And you can tell that in the Cajun season, they don't go good together, but it's a good sauce, but I don't know if I'd use it again with the Cajun season. All in all, it's some good eating, man. I would just say, Definitely break it down. Get as much of that fat off as you can. And like I say, break it down, make some tacos, man. So anyway, man, I want to thank y'all for joining me here at the Rolling Grill. As always, we're going to try everything Walmart got in the store. And this was in the store at Walmart. Good food, good vibes. Don't forget to get me to 10,000 subscribers. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. Yeah, boy. Mm.